Monday. Welcome to the studio. It's Froyo here. Today we're going to be creating something beautiful and definitely something fun. So I was in Warehouse Stationery this week and they had these fabulous little canvases. Buy one, get one half price. I mean, how can you resist a bargain like that? <laughs> So I picked them up, I bought two, and I'm really keen just to make some beautiful little collage because I have so many fabulous papers. Um, it's 20 centimetres or 8 inches square, and I'm pretty keen to create something fabulous out of my scrap bag because it's nice and full, and also out of my box of beautiful papers. Now, someone asked me recently, how do I store all my prints and papers? I put them into boxes, if they're bigger pieces, bags, if they're smaller pieces, and they're going to be blocked by color. So these color schemes are more neutral, lots of blacks and whites, um, some gold, some you know um, brown paper packaging, some of the fabulous white roses that I've made, and lots of text and papers oh wallpapers so that's what's in this particular box oh my nat geo papers love them some other spray bits and pieces so this box is lovely and full i'm going to pull papers out of there and also the bag of the same color tones but usually with smaller pieces that's just how i like to arrange my papers and it works really well when you want to create something because you've got similar tones and colors that will work together. I also have my fabulous PM Artist Studio masks which I personally like to use for collage elements. Love them, still loving them. Yes, sprayed these ones black. You can have a look at that episode. It was so much fun, loved it. And these bits here are the off cuts or the other pieces that came with the stencils, which I'm really keen to use on these canvases. Yay! So that's what we're going to do, and I just can't wait to get into it. I've got my matte medium. I personally like to use matte medium when I'm collaging, and I have a couple of pair of scissors. Yay! It's a beautiful afternoon in New Zealand. No, <laughs> no it's not. It's pelting down rain, it's cold, and it's miserable. This winter has been a little rough, but we're not perturbed because no one's bugging me at the moment, and we're going to create something fabulous. So the question's going to be, where do you start? Sometimes people have a hard time starting. I usually don't. I just kind of rummage through my box or my bags and find something that I'm interested in. This is pretty cool. It's a um, numbers stencil that I got recently and it's on a jelly print. And I think I'll start with that. What I love about using canvases is that you can wrap the papers around the sides and it looks fabulous when you do that. And these tiny little canvases like this size make absolutely wonderful gifts. Or you can sell them, of course. I have sold quite a few in my lifetime. But I also like to gift them. So wrapping the papers around the sides, I think, makes it look more professional. And it finishes it off nicely. So I think we'll start with this piece. And then we'll just have a little creative frenzy. Now, what I love about collage is that it's all about the layers. Layers and layers and layers of papers and textures. And you really can't go too wrong because if you don't like something, you can cover it up, you can go over it, you can add to it, you can spray paint on it. Hello, my new favorite thing. <laughs> or, or you could just add more papers, you could add paints and inks. It's endless stencils. It's so incredible what you can do with collage. If you don't like something, you just change it. So no fear when you're starting or jumping into something because just keep it in your mind and you might hear me in your brain telling you just start because you can change it if you don't like it. <laughs> Yay! Once you get started, the momentum of that 
um, will move you along because it takes away the fear of facing that blank white canvas, sticking your first piece on, just do it. Even if you change it down the track or collage over it, just stick your first piece on because then you're up and running and you'll find that you'll be able to move forward without any fear. Now I've wrapped the paper around the side. See how good that looks? Totally does. I love it. It looks good when it's sitting or if it's on the wall, you actually will see the sides. So it looks really cool and it's important because it also looks more professional. Now, what are we going to do next? Well, if I reach into my favorite bag of tricks here, um, there's so many possibilities and so many options. It's really easy to become paralyzed by too many choices. So don't stress yourself out too much. Just keep moving. Oh, I like that. And uh, put the papers on because, like I said, you can change it if it doesn't work or you're not happy with it. So now I have to decide where I want to head with the colour scheme. Do I want to get into some browns? Do I want to just leave it black and white? So many options in this beautiful bag of scraps. It's all about how you're feeling today. How I'm feeling is going to be different from next week or another day. So just worry about how you're feeling today, how you're responding to the colours and the textures. Because it does change every time you sit down to create collage. You're probably going to feel a little bit differently about how you want it to turn out. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Yes, I know. It's going to be a challenge <laughs> to fit all the pieces on my small canvas. <laughs> but don't worry. We'll get there in the end. It'll be fine. Ooh, that's a nice piece. Do I want some bronze? I'm pretty sure I'm going to want some bronze, aren't I? Yes, I am. Without a doubt, we're going to want some bronze. And of course, there's this box here too. And this also has some fabulous, beautiful papers. Loving that stencil. That is just glorious. I also am loving my fabulous bubble wrap printing. That's got bronze on it. You see, we're definitely having bronze. But I also do love the paper packaging with the white. That's quite fresh. Righto, gonna have to make some serious decisions. <laughs> <laughs> before I pull out way too many options. Oh, I like this one too. That's a serviette. Love using serviettes because they're so soft. They're so easy to put on. That color's pretty nice. I'm liking the neutral tones in that. I might use that one as well. Yay. What I like about with using the scrap bag is that you find pieces that's the end of things or that are strange in texture or shape or color because you've torn them off something else. So it makes for really interesting pieces that you might not necessarily think of. It's kind of a fun exercise to use your scrap bag because it'll give you an opportunity to use papers in a different way that you don't automatically think of. So, you know, it's and it's fun. Did I mention? <laughs> it has to be fun or I don't want to play. I'm liking that, but it's too pale. I'm going with these colours, definitely some black and white and some bronze. And I'm not going to stress out too much. I'm just going to put some papers on there and then I'll move them around or I'll change them as things develop. This piece here from my scrap bag is a print of one of my Nat Geo pages and it's kind of like the end of something. It's a perfect size. So I think I'll put it down this side here because this lovely piece with the bronze goes really well with those tones. They work really well. I think I'll just go with that and stick that down. You know, you don't want to think too much because then you start worrying if you like it or you don't, or if it's good or if it's bad, blah, blah, blah. Just allow yourself to create. This is one of my fabulous beehive papers. Might have to put some of that in somewhere. All right, I'll put some of these down. Then we'll see where we're at. 
So these ones are glued down nicely, very happy with them. That's another tip of mine. My favorite way of approaching collage is to repeat different shapes um, or stencils. So I've used a couple of different pieces for this section. I've wrapped it around the side like this and I think that's really cool because when you're creating papers or you're stenciling or you're jelly printing, you do tend to use the same thing a few times. I know that I used this particular, mm, I think it was an art foamy um, stamp and I stamped it onto paper and I stamped it on black and, and bronze and I was just playing around just throwing it on different gel prints and now when I put it together in a collage what I like is the repetitive shape so it just creates a uniformity about your collage and it just means that your artwork comes together with more solidity when you repeat your shapes or patterns or designs so you know, I love it. <laughs> I think we're coming along nicely. Now, what was I going to do? Oh, yes, that's right. I'm going to put this bronze and this blue on the side and maybe some of that. Hmm, not sure about that idea. I'll come back to that one. Maybe I'll add some of this serviette. I like that. Yeah, I think so. Now, don't forget when you're using serviettes or napkins for your collage, you need to take the white tissue off the back before you glue it on. Otherwise, it just doesn't stick well and it all bubbles up. Now, if it's a two-ply, you only need one layer of the tissue to take off. But it's a, if it's a three-ply serviette, then you're going to need to take off two layers. So just check that before you stick it on. I've been duped before and I've stuck it on and I haven't taken the extra tissue off the back. I only took one ply off and it needed to be taken two off and it made it all bubbly and painful and I hated it. So, <laughs> so I'm just helping you out here. That's what you need to do. Make sure you take all the tissue off the serviette. <laughs> I love using serviettes because they're so soft. They're so easy to use. I picked them up in the interior um, designer shops or you can get them from the cheap shops as well or you can get them from you know like home improvement areas oh my gosh it's so fabulous you can get them everywhere I bought a packet recently from a kitchen shop it was amazing beautiful I think I've already used it in a collage somewhere so you know love me some serviettes or napkins if you're in America I think it's napkins but you know what I mean, right? They're fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Love it. So that's down on there. Now I've got this fabulous bronze color, but I can't stick it like that. That's boring. <laughs> We're not doing that. Oh, man. What about this one? Yeah, I could use this one. Yes. I like this one better. I think I just like the way this one is more uh, landscapey rather than a portrait shape. It's all about shape, color, and texture when you're doing an abstract collage like this. And there's no wrong. So don't like, you know, stress yourself out over it. Personal preference, how you like it to be. I'm liking that, I'm gonna stick it on, right? You might not like it. You might be there saying, don't put that on, that looks terrible. <laughs> But that's too bad, so sad, because this is my collage and this is how I'm doing it. You can actually do these collages like this a hundred different ways. And it's going to depend on how you feel on the day that you're making it, the papers that you're wanting to use, the colors that you're responding to. It really is absolutely endless, the possibilities. Righto, that looks fab. I, love, I am loving that. That sticks down like that. So what are we going to do next? Have another little rummage through the scrap bag. Yay. So I'm just pulling out now from my scrap bag. Look at that cool piece. That's part of a jelly print. I'm liking that color. Today, I'm liking that color. <laughs> just am. This one's pretty cool too. Oh, maybe I'll put that there. Maybe I will. Okay. No fear, people. No fear. Because why? Why is there no fear? 
because we can change it. <laughs> it doesn't have to stay the same. If you don't like it down the track, you can just change it. No fear. I'm going to put this piece on here because right this very second, I really like it. It's got this nice, soft, warm tone in it, which is going well with what we've got up there. So we might just keep moving in that direction. There's plenty of scraps in my scrap bag in these tones. So I just need to rummage through and pull some more out. I'm really liking this jelly print. I think I'll take it over the edge. Although, oh man, I've got my nice paper there. Okay, we won't go that far. We'll just go to the edge. We're going to the edge, people. We're going to the edge. <laughs> Look at this piece. It's just perfect. Little off cut there. It's got some text on it. Must have been a book page that I jelly printed on. Yay. It's going to go right there. And that is just going to look fabulous. So that's looking good. The sides look fabulous. Those colors work really well together. Now, the third top tip for creating collage on canvas. <laughs> what was the first two? Oh, is that what you're asking? The first one was just start. Don't be afraid because you can change it as you go along or down the track if you don't like it. Um, number two was use similar patterns and shapes repetitively so you get a nice harmonious composition and number three is the use of layers i love using layers on my collages because it creates an incredible depth and it makes areas really interesting and i have to use some of this fabulous bubble wrap print on tissue love it so much had a bit of a frenzy recently making papers and I know it is incredibly simple but it's a very effective design. So what I like about putting these marks onto tissue especially with collage like this is that when you glue it on the tissue becomes quite transparent and you'll see other layers underneath coming through. So it makes more interesting composition. So number three is using layers. I'm going to put that there. Don't forget that when you're doing your collage on canvas like this, you can consider the side as well as the top of the canvas because you can see the side, especially when it's hanging on the wall. Or if it's a small canvas like this one, maybe it might be sitting on someone's desk, then you definitely want to make sure those sides are as interesting as the top of the canvas. Yay! So there's my beautiful bubble wrap piece. It's just glorious in the fabulous bronze. Loving it. So now I'm going to put some additional layers on top of the collage just to make it more interesting. Especially pieces like this one where the tissue becomes transparent and the fabulous design looks awesome. Yay! Loving it. It just looks beautiful. Right up. Well, we need something for there. There's a bit of a gap there. Ooh, do I want to bring this piece back? Do I? Maybe I do. It's pretty cool. Or what about this little piece? That piece is pretty nice too. Ooh, maybe I could put it up there. Maybe, baby. I like the color. The color's working. It's a similar color to that one. So I like that idea. We might just put that there for now and think about it. This section here needs something. Ooh, what about... Ooh, now we're thinking. <laughs> what, about, what about some of these fabulous masks? Stencils slash collage elements. That could work. I'm really liking that idea very, very much. Or what about the pieces here? These are the off-cut pieces of the stencil. They could work too. I'm liking this idea. Yes, I am liking this idea. What about we put some of these off-cut bits on it as well? 
Oh, that's such a cool shape. You know, I'm liking this idea. <laughs> I really am. Man, it's like playing with a jigsaw puzzle. Just got to get it how I like it best. And that is going to certainly be personal preference. Oh, man, I'm liking that. I've got some more off-cut pieces here. They could go on. Yes, that's pretty cool. What do you think? Ooh, there's a big piece. What do you think? What do you think? Do we like this idea? I'm liking this idea. Oh, though I don't want to cover up my little crosses. Righto. I'm going to play with that idea some more. That looks pretty cool. It was really difficult to decide where I wanted to put these fabulous pieces because every time I moved it and tried a different composition, it changed the dynamic of everything. And then I didn't know how to put it back to how it was before I moved the piece. <laughs> so, you know, truly I could make this whole thing um, 10 different ways, probably 20 different ways. And it doesn't make it wrong, it just makes it different. Oh, maybe that way. So every time you turn a piece around or you change your mind or try something new, it just changes the dynamic of the composition. And seriously, you could do it 20 different ways and it would all still be right and it would be beautiful. So don't stress yourself out when you're creating collages like this because truly you could do it so many different ways you may as well just keep making them right you may as well just make another 20 <laughs> especially if you've got an abundance of papers to use right so that is an all now stuck down as you can see it has a fabulous layer of matte medium and I'm going to let that dry, see where we're at and see if there's anything else I need to add to it. I love these pieces. That is so funny using the off cuts from these fabulous nested circles. And I loved these because I started using these because I was doing the squibbly circles. And then it went on to the string gel circles. And then I found these. So one idea needs to the next, which needs to the next. And that's how you develop your creativity. You keep moving along with your ideas. And look where you end up. <laughs> Righto. Well, I'll leave it for now and I'll let this dry. And then I'll see if there's anything else I want to add or change or cover or move. Like, hello, you can do any of the above. Righto. We'll let that dry. Ooh, I like that little piece there. Maybe we could bring that down here. Ooh, maybe, baby. You know, it's pretty cool. It's going to bring you that section there. We'll then bring that over to here. Yeah, I'm going to put it just there. Okay, it's going to dry after I stick that one little piece down just over there. Now, I think this is drying up really well. I love the way the sides look. It's all finished nicely and I'm pretty happy with it. It was really fun. It's very relaxing to me to create like this. It's a spontaneous application. It's more of an intuitive approach and you really should give yourself a chance to try approaching the collage like this. You just have to trust yourself, have courage and push forward. If you don't like something, you can cover it. So, I just want to encourage you to keep creating and developing your skills because you will get better the more you create. Now, I'm loving this one. I'll give you a close-up when it is completely dry and I'm really happy with it. Thanks 
joining me today in the studio. I just love making these beautiful little intuitive collage artworks. I love it so much, I kept going. <laughs> and I created another one because it is so much fun. So I'll put the link in the description for the second little collage that I made during this fabulous Sunday in the studio episode. Yay! So click on that if you want to watch another one. Look for some more because, baby, there's always more. <laughs> I just love it. Now, did you know I have a fabulous online gallery shop full of my beautiful original artworks? Have a look here. This month, I have a fabulous amount of my glorious paintings on sale. And since you are still here, I have a special discount code just for you. If you would like one of my beautiful original paintings, I'm giving you this fabulous 15% discount code because you're still here. <laughs> because you're joining me in my studio and you're watching my videos to the end, I'm going to give you gifts and surprises and I just love it. So this week, I have a coupon code for my online beautiful art gallery with my paintings. 15% discount when you put in YouTube into the coupon code. Yay! Go on and have a look. There's some glorious paintings there. There's some really big ones if you need a featured painting for your living room. Or there's some little beautiful gift size ones. They're all glorious. They're all my original paintings and they're all made with love. Come back and join me next week. I hope to see you in the studio. I'm not sure what we will be creating, but I know it's going to be fun. And of course, it'll be beautiful. Yeah.